Hi, this is Craig Calvert. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a process container that I'm going to actually give to you to make this process of sharpening using residuals much faster and much easier. So I'm going to work with this image of the Jellyfish Nebula. It's starless. Noise has been reduced and it's been stretched with a histogram transformation. I've also already extracted the four residuals. And if you have seen the video before, you know how that's done. It's under scripts, image analysis, extract wave layers. And you can extract one, two, three, and four of four different files. I'll show you an example here. You're going to keep the residual, which is this first image. And you're going to, all of the other ones are the uh, wave layers. And you're going to get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of this also because I already have them. And now I'm going to open up pixel math. Now the equation that you see here is different from what you saw in the previous videos. In the previous videos, we would do something like 10 of, original, of the original image minus 9 of a residual, or 5 of the original minus 4 of the residual. And then we combined them, kind of blended them together at the end. I'm blending them together right now. For example, instead of subtracting, say, 9, of residual zero from 10 of the original image, I'm subtracting five of residual zero and two of residual one and two of residual two from, from 10 of the original image. I'll talk more about this in a moment. But first, I need to get you the process container. In the description of this video, there's a link. Copy that link into a browser and hit enter, or you can paste it into a document, a Word document as I did here, and then click on the link. A web page will open, and if it prompts you to create an account, ignore it. Just hit download, and then open up the file. Now you're going to get back into Pixinsight, and you're going to go to workspace number one if you're not already there. And there it is. Okay, now to save this process container, click the right mouse button, go down to where it says save, give it a name, and save it somewhere. Okay, once you've saved it, if you want to uh, use it again, just take the icon that you saved and drag it onto your workspace. Now let's open up the process container and see what it looks like. There's a number of lines in it um, that are all processes. The very first line, the one that's with the, with the first, with the green check right there, that's actually to change the name of your file to the word original. Just always leave this line as it is. All these other ones with the X's are these combinations. Um, and, and the ones at the top are very slight sharpening. In the middle, it's more moderate sharpening, and as you get down to the bottom of the list, it gets uh, much more aggressive sharpening. The red X means that the process won't run, and the reason why they're all X'd out is because you're never going to run all of these processes on any one image. If you want the process to run, you just double click on the X and make it a check mark, and you do this for each process that you want to run. For the Jellyfish Nebula, I'm going to do only very slight sharpening. So I'm only going to uh, check the ones at the very top. Drop the instance onto the image. And let's see what we got. So you'll look at them and you'll pick one out, I guess, that you like the best. And you will uh, can get rid of the rest. And if you don't get one that you like, we'll run it again and uh, uncheck other of these um, processes. And you can see it, it did a pretty good job of sharpening. Okay, so now we're going to look at a very different example. This is the uh, Sunflower Galaxy. In the Sunflower Galaxy, I'm going to sharpen it a bit more than I did um, the, the Jellyfish Nebula. So I'm going to go down the list and I'll uncheck uh, some more in the middle more moderate uh, sharpening. And again, I don't really know which ones will work here. I experiment, and if I get it right, great. If I don't, well, I try some others. 
So let's um, see what this does. And I'll go through the same process. I'll find the one I like the best, or one or two, and I will remove the others. All right. Okay, so I picked one out. And let's zoom in and, and just take a quick look at it. And I think you can see that it is, it is sharpened. Perhaps I should have sharpened it a little more, but it's okay. Now let's look at another very different example. Jupiter. Now this image is the derotated and stacked AVI. And it's not very sharp. So I'm going to the bottom of this list of, of combinations. And I'm unchecking the very bottom ones, the ones that are the most aggressive sharpening. And uh, again, I will drop the icon onto the image and we'll see what happens. And I think you can see they're definitely sharpened. Some preps are too coarse. And so I'll, I'll get these out of the way and let's take a look. And as I did before, I'm going to uh, decide what one or maybe more than one I, I like. And I'm going to put that uh, aside and I'll, and I'll uh, Remove the others. That one. That's three. For now. Okay. Let's uh, put them side by side and, and take a look. They're not that different, a little bit. And now you might ask a question, it's a fair question, and that is, why the heck didn't I just use Registax like everyone else? So I did. And uh, there is a result from Registax. And if I look at these three, they're pretty similar. Maybe this one's the closest. And so I, I think that uh, this method did a very similar job to what I could do in Registax. So, I've demonstrated the use of this technique with process container on three very different examples. I've given you a link so you can download this process container. And if you can't, for whatever reason, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. And uh, give it a try. I hope that it works for you. I'm, I appreciate you watching this video.